So frustration, outrage, disappointment, use whatever word you want, but the people behind this salon here in spring say it's not fair that they don't get to reopen like other businesses. Come Friday in an interview with us today, they say they might defy the governor's order. There's a fair chance that we're looking at reopening of some select salons um, as soon as possible, long before the governor gives us the his formal approval. Anthony Milton says they have 47 tune up the Manly Salon locations across Texas with 600 employees. They want to get back to work ASAP. We're going through a process right now having conversations with the entire ownership group, our staff, our franchisees, and figuring out if we allow ourselves to be subject to the executive order or if we take the position that the executive order is unlawful and unconstitutional uh, and is overreaching by the governor himself. This industry is based a lot on customer interaction, tips, being able to, to have their regulars come in. And the further that time is, is apart, I feel then that's that disconnect that we're gonna have in you know, not only these individual stores, but the industry itself. The team says safety is their top priority. They're confident they can cut hair and protect clients and employees. We use high-end medical grade disinfectants in here. You know, if you look at our stations, per the Texas Department of Licensing and Regulations and Coding, we have to be six feet apart from each other in a salon. And that's not even with COVID. So as you heard, it's clear there is growing unrest. The management here says they're going to make a decision on that later this afternoon. We've reached out to the governor's office for comments so far, no response. But yesterday he said his decision was being guided by information from an infectious disease experts. Reporting live in Springs, Steve Campion, 13 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Steve. Harris